What is going on, Power Stroke Central people? Welcome back to another video. Today we are headed downstairs to the beautiful, magnificent 7.3. Today is a special video for y'all. We actually have got the hydro chip tuner. And sorry, I'm holding my tripod right now because I am going to set y'all up on the tripod. We're doing an unboxing vid for y'all, uh, showing y'all guys what the hydro chip tuner is and what it looks like and how to kind of where it goes and everything like that. On March 6th, guys, I have a professional installing it with me. I'm also going to making this video to see what you guys think of the hydro chip tuner. It's from Full Force Diesel. Make sure you guys leave in the comments if y'all have it on y'all's truck how y'all like it and also how y'all kind of installed it because i'm looking for options at this point also guys i've heard that you need to disconnect the battery when you are installing it so leave in the comments if that is true for people not disconnecting the battery and completely frying their pcm so i don't want to do that and that would basically cost thousands of dollars if i did that so i want to make sure i'm doing this right so i'm going to take it slow i'm going to take it over a couple of weeks and just follow along on the journey of me installing this bad boy and we'll dive right into it here so let me unbox this for y'all stay tuned we got the full force diesel hydro chip tuner here there's also another tuner that i've been seeing and it's a ts six position chip tuner that also is like a little lower grade than this this is 350 dollars from the full force diesel website you can also get it on amazon i'll leave that link down below where you can get it on amazon adhd or no half ass i've been following his channel for quite a while and he does has this exact tuner on his truck and he says he likes it a lot granted he has 100 something thousand miles i have 469 thousand miles on mine so might be a difference to see in the older injectors how it kind of works and everything like that if it does fry my truck i'm just trying to experiment here with this so yeah the price on this was 350 dollars uh, if you guys are trying to pick this up the ts6 position chip guys actually is only about 250 dollars now that being said i did get 10 to 17 tunes on this so i got a lot more tuning options on this one than i would have if i would have gotten the ts6 position chip that i've seen a lot of people have on it now guys there's 10 to 17 different tunes on this one like i said you have like a bunch of different options you have a big horsepower mode you also have you can roll coal with this thing a lot more you can shoot a lot more fuel into those injectors so i am kind of a little bit nervous to see how it reacts with my truck because my truck is so old that it could blow my injectors so i'm not really sure let's get unboxing here so i do have a pocket knife and i want to get nice and uh, up close and personal with y'all y'all don't really know what it looks like yet i don't want to break anything right off rip so i'm also going to be uh showing you guys where i would where i'm going to be installing it um with the professional when, we, when it does come around opening it up right off the rip in a nice neat package it did come come pretty taped and it has bubble wrap around it so that way nothing gets hurt comes in a nice little bubble wrap here I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy on the truck. Pull the uh, bubble wrap off here. Wow, look at that, guys. Nice little package there. Hydra tuner, the snakes right there. I like this a lot. It looks really cool, really neat package here. Yeah, guys, so, so yeah, guys, this is the box that comes in. Looks really nice, really neat. So opening it up right off the rip, guys, looks really neat. It does come with an instruction manual, I believe this is. Okay, so, oh, this is all the tunes it has, guys. Look at that. This is all the tunes it has on it. As you guys can see, a lot of tunes on there that they put. So it's factory stock. That's the one tune that it has. It has 1,100 RPM high idle don't really want that don't really need that it has a theft mode dead pedal i'm gonna be activating that a lot i also have a kill switch on mine so that'd be kind of two uh it has a whisper mode not really going to be using that towing i probably will use a towing mode because i do tow sometimes daily driver and daily driver as you guys know i do daily drive this truck so i'm going to be using that one that's probably the mode i'm going to keep it in all the time so it has three daily drivers it has a fuel sipper which i think that's going to be the one that rolls coal uh it has a performance which adds 80 horsepower it also has a, another towing one which is an 80 horsepower towing so it has a 25 extra horsepower towing mode and then it has a 80 horsepower towing mode now i'm not really going to need the 80 horsepower one honestly that might just fuck up my truck when it comes to the older stuff it does have a 100 horsepower performance mod it also has a 120 horsepower racing mode and it has 140 power horsepower extreme racing mode when i put it in that guys the 140 power 140 horsepower extreme mode i'm probably going to be ripping this thing i'm probably not going to put that in there just given my truck's extent of its miles and everything like that everything is bone stock still bone injectors bone stock injectors injector pistons all, everything is stock so i don't want to blow anything up the maximum i'm going to put it in is probably 100 horsepower performance now for a video i might put in 140 horsepower performance to just see what it does but as you guys can see here all the uh tunes it comes with which i'm excited for that now the couple of tunes i wish it wouldn't have come with is the valet mode i mean i'm not really gonna be valet parking this 20 year old truck i'm not gonna afford for a valet parking you know probably the 1100 rpm high idle i mean the only reason you use high idle guys is if you're trying to charge up batteries or if you're trying to jump start a vehicle or something which i maybe might use that once every two years <laughs> so here's what it comes with guys here's the chip tuner box here that's very nicely nicely packaged chip is tuned so it comes with that it's already tuned guys 
Here is the chip itself on the back. I'm not gonna be opening this up just yet because I don't wanna touch anything. Could be breaking the chip because I know with this computer hardware, if you touch that stuff, it could break easily. So I'm just gonna be kind of setting this aside here. Now remember guys, you can kind of get this chip from anywhere. And honestly, I've seen uh, no half ass got it off of Amazon. So I'm gonna leave that link down below. I don't wanna break it. It does come with this, oh shittery. Whoops. <laughs> so as you guys can see here, it has this little clicker thing. I really like this a lot because I can choose which tune I want on it. Now, once again, guys, I wanna make sure that I'm doing this right when I install it, because if you install this wrong, guys, you could completely fry your PCM. And those are like 1100 bucks. If you fry that, you're screwed. So it comes with like this cord here. This is the PCM. I think this is for connecting it to the PCM. Curious to see how this comes out. Okay, this comes out just like that. And it also has a inserter. So this is, guys, this is gonna go on your dash. So this is what you like click up and down. So here it is right here. This is what it looks like and stuff. So let's say you wanna go up, up a mode, or you wanna change it to, to the high performance horsepower. You literally just click this button and it goes up a mode or down a mode, which is kind of nice. And it's a cool little display that full force diesel has. Comes with this cord here, factory cord, more cordage, more cordage, more cordage. Comes with this brush to actually, so guys, I've been hearing a lot on the comments and stuff. Remember, I'm new to this. So I've seen a lot on the comments that you have to like brush the wiring off or like the coating off in order to get the connection right. And if you mess that up, they could be big time for y'all. So I wanna make sure I do that right here. Comes with this little sponge here. I'm sure that's also for getting the connection off. Here we go. We got this important message here. It says, use the included brass brush to clean the PCM J3 port first, scratch off silicone with wooden handle, then scrub the brass with bristles to remove any remaining silicone. So you wanna make sure you scrub this thing good. I'm trying to keep everything together, guys, so that way I don't fucking lose anything. Okay, so that does come with a power hungry performance, a little sticker there. I'm not gonna be putting that on my truck just because I have so many stickers already, unless they're gonna pay me for it. But it also comes with a instruction manual, I believe this is. I think that's it. That's all there is in there. Let me know if I'm missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything, but we'll find out when I try to install it. I've watched a ton of videos on this, guys, how the chip works and everything. If I'm going to be spending $350, I want to be doing my research. So we also got, so this is the instruction manual it has here. Hydra, power by Power Hungry. So yeah, this is the instruction manual. I want to keep that with the truck. Just, I'm going to read over it once or twice here outside of the video. And then uh, when I do install it, I'm going to be showing you guys on the video how to install it. We're going to be installing this bad boy March 6th. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you all subscribe. And I do have a professional coming with me from a high, it's called High Year Collision. It's their shop. Uh, I'll leave their link down below where you can go find them, but they're going to be installing it for me. He's going to be installing it for me. I'm going to be working with them to install it. And we're going to be filming a whole entire badass video on it. So make sure y'all guys subscribe to the, my channel, subscribe to their channel because I'm going to be posting it on there too. Yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it. I want to show you guys real quick or where I'm going to be installing it. You're basically going to want to install it. It's going to be right under your dash. There's like a PCM box right there. Go further into detail on March 6th whenever we do actually do the whole install video. But I just wanted to show you guys what came with the Hydro Chip Tuner right off the rip. So yeah, that was the kind of unboxing video. Now I'm going to be filming another video in the future here with the actual chip being installed. So make sure you subscribe as usual. Pretty badass. I cannot wait to put it on. It has a ton of tunes, 10 to 17 tunes on this thing. I'll probably only be using a main majority seven or eight tunes. I'm kind of glad I got the 10 to 17, not the six, because I know I'm going to be using all 10 tunes that come with it. Uh, maybe not the valet mode, but the daily driving and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be using that a lot. I'm probably going to keep it on that mode. I'm also want to get fuel, better fuel performance mode. So let me know if I said anything wrong in this video, because once again, I am new to this and this is the first time I've ever bought some sort of tuner chip on it. I have been watching quite a bit of videos on it, so I am somewhat knowledgeable on this topic, but probably not as knowledgeable as somebody who actually has the tuner on their truck. That being said though, guys, thank you guys for watching this Power Truck Central video. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Make sure y'all subscribe. I'm gonna be pumping out content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So peace out, fellas. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, also, if you guys wanna watch the next one, it'll be up here or down there. Peace out.